So going on two years now, I've had a YouTube channel that I started in the middle of COVID lockdown. I started by making some props to remind me of Disney, you know, remind the whole family. So now I still make props, play with He-Man toys, work on cars. Sometimes I'll walk around junkyards and find stuff like this. Those are old American bench sides for a park bench. They're cast iron, they're very heavy. They may be from the turn of the century, late 1800s, early 1900s, because of the daisy on them. I can tell you they're old because they're really heavy and they just don't make stuff like that anymore. But they do remind me of the benches at Disney. So I got some pine because, well, it was cheap. I had grand plans of getting some cedar or white oak or some other fancy wood. I, I really don't know anything about wood. I got pine. It was cheap. Cheap's a relative term anymore. But I wanted to make this bench about four feet wide. I cut these a little bit lower than that, about 45 inches, such the overall bench was 48 inches wide. Here, I'm just using the holes and screwing in with just some drywall screws, trying to get an idea of what the bench would look like, see what else I needed to do, and make sure the wood I'd picked fit. If I remember correctly, you use nine one by twos and three one by ones. This is a centerpiece, and this centerpiece makes all the difference for this thing actually being able to be sat on. So what it does is it ties all those slats of wood together and distributes the load. There's also some other pieces that come up from the bottom of the bench. Yeah, I didn't cut it good. It took forever to get this off, but plasma cutters are awesome. Here, after I'd formed it, I drilled some holes like that, rounded the edges. Mmm, nice. And then just got rid of all the burrs. But anyway, this piece is extremely important. And I almost found that out the hard way after I put it together later. But we'll get to that. After some research, I found not only bench sides that I got were cool, they actually matched the ones they have at Disneyland. So after having them black, I knew I wanted them green, but I was definitely going to paint them green after finding that picture at Disneyland. It's not quite the same green, but I like it. Next, I made a little jig so I could drill out all the holes so I could reassemble it. Look at that. So smooth. And I was wearing gloves so I didn't get any splinters. Then I sanded every board side by side because I didn't want to get any splinters in my butt. Or anyone else's butt. <laughs> I said butt. <laughs> <laughs> so after I sanded it, then I used some pre-stain. And if you don't know what pre-stain is, is, well, it's miracle in a can. It makes cheap wood look like good wood after it's stained. Because this is cheap wood. I don't know if you saw the numbers there, but I numbered all these after pre-assembling it. That came in handy later when I assembled it backwards. Literally put them exactly in the wrong spot. See? It's already put the... There was some fireworks and some words when I was putting it together after I had to do it twice. Um, so I couldn't use that footage. Well, I could have, but instead I thought... Let's look at some real fireworks. Anyway, I had gone to the store and got some half inch nuts and bolts, specifically some carriage bolts. I sanded the top of them and painted them kind of an anodized bronze so they wouldn't stick out as much. Bolted everything together it was pretty solid, but it definitely needed that brace. So that little metal brace I told you about, I sat on it once and um, I'm a large feller. I thought I was going to break several days worth of work, but after I put this on, it was quite good to sit on. So much so, I sat on it and so did my little buddy. Here it is. Is it little dude approved? It's Little Dude Approved. So what did we do that night? We sat in our new Disney bench and watched Frozen. Copyright, copyright. I can't sing the whole song today. Copyright, copyright. See you next time, yay.